as you know, every generation has a name. You've heard of uh, the, the baby boomers. You've heard of Gen X. Most of you are probably millennials. <laughs> but there really hasn't been a name for the next generation until now, because today MTV announced that the generation after millennials will be known as the founders. <laughs> yes, because their job will be to restore order to the society that the millennials apparently disrupted. <laughs> so basically, the founders are going to fix the previous generation's hopelessly outdated institutions. <laughs> says MTV. <laughs> Apparently, the term founder would apply to anyone uh, aged 15 or younger. Yeah, that's, that's kids who are 15 or younger, or, as MTV knows them, mums. <laughs> what? It's their show. It's a, I mean, it's, it's a good thing that MTV has named them, because if CBS named them, they'd just be called NCIS Young People. <laughs> But clearly, people are struggling with what to call this new generation of kids, including their parents, because a new story uh, came out which revealed that more and more babies are being named after Instagram filters. <laughs> True, yeah, that's right. Move over, dead relatives. Instagram's in town. <laughs> now, when I heard about parents naming their kids after Instagram filters, I was like, this is ridiculous. I have got to tell my son Snapchat about this. <laughs> Periscope! Periscope, get your brother Snapchat. I've got to tell him about this thing. <laughs> but the good news, the good news about naming your daughter after an Instagram filter like Sierra, Willow or Lux is that she won't have to change her name if she becomes a stripper. <laughs> but honestly, there's even a family that named all three of its kids after Instagram filters, Kelvin, Lark and Moon. Uh, it's actually a very cute family and I believe we've got a picture here. <laughs> the other... <laughs> Except that our children are going to grow up in a very different world to the one that we are. Like, for example, one major thing which is really going to be different is McDonald's is thinking of introducing table service at their restaurants. Did you see this? Yeah, it's true. I, I think this is a good thing because if you're sitting down at McDonald's for dinner, you really do need another human being to come over to you and say, Hey, how are you doing tonight? Even though we all know that the answer is, yeah, not great. <laughs> I'm in McDonald's. Um, but, you, you know, with table service, there's going to be a moment where you're looking over the menu and the waiter comes up and you have to go, I'm sorry, I have barely looked. I just need a few more minutes. Is that, <laughs> is that OK? And then they come back and you're like, talk to me about this Big Mac. What's, uh, <laughs> what's on that? What, are we that? what does that come with? Is it fries? <laughs> Nuggets are... With dips? Cool. Uh, but you, you, here's my impression of every single person walking into a McDonald's that is testing table service, OK? Hi, uh, table for one. <laughs> it's, it's, it's